Thanks. So for years I got feedback that I, just intermittently, that I came across as really logical and unemotional and this was endlessly infuriating because I felt emotions so strongly and in my background growing up I saw emotions be abusive to people, I saw people fly off the handle and I didn't feel comfortable expressing anything that I thought was negative, anything that would impact somebody in a way that was upsetting. And um, but I knew that it <laughs> just swallowed the frame. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. So I just keep going. You can yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is authentic. <laughs> um, I believe Brene Brown's research that connection is the point of life. It's why we're here. And you cannot connect unless you're vulnerable. And when people in the past have told me that even close friends, that they hadn't seen me be vulnerable before, or something would happen after years of friendship, they'd say, oh, that's the first time I've seen you vulnerable. And I was angry that, I was like, what do you people want from me? Why, why can't people see how I feel? And um, I heard about authentic relating, and I was like, I don't know what exactly that is, but maybe it'll help me with this thing. I feel things and I don't know how to tell people. I feel vulnerable and people can't see it. I think they can, but for some reason they don't feel me. And I have been going to games for over a year. I got facilitator trained. I'm a head facilitator in the Austin community. And this is my church. This is a huge part of my life now. I still am very active in other things. It's not a cult. <laughs> it's, I do a lot of other things with my time. but. This has made all of my relationships better. I understand now why people, if they had a problem and came to me, and I would listen and really earnestly try my best to connect with them. But if I went straight into advice, I was like, why are they upset with me now? Just simple skills of empathy and communication, expressing myself. And there was a huge breakthrough about six months in of understanding why they weren't feeling me. There was something that I was doing physically, energetically, that I was kind of closing off and just in my head when I talked to people and I wasn't connected to my body. And it's, and in the past I would have thought that's some hippie woo-woo thing. As I experimented with it, I, people would, I, I was scared of being told they didn't feel me. I was at a retreat and uh, people would say, oh, I really felt you, oh, I didn't feel you. And I was terrified of it being my turn to be the focus because I was scared of getting that feedback. I, after trying and trying, I thought, oh God, what if it goes back to, I didn't feel you, we can't feel your vulnerability. And um, yeah, I had this realization dropped into my body. And even when the focus wasn't on me, after that session, people came up to you and said, I could really feel you just radiating from your part of the room. And it meant so much to me. And I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and um, I also couldn't cry in front of people before this. I had a really hard time with it. Um, I don't know why, I was afraid of being judged, of being too emotional or whatever. Um, and also, um, after, I'm 32, after five years of no significant relationship and like 17 years of dating, um, I'm in an amazing, amazing relationship now and I seriously, I attribute so much success of that to this practice that if I hadn't done this, Working through the vulnerabilities that came up with that would be so... I don't know how I would do it. And, um... <laughs> um and, yeah, just having the empathy skills, being able to communicate when something's hard, dropping in and saying, I notice I'm feeling this, I, I want to check an assumption, how do you feel? Just these simple practices. And it's like doing yoga or learning a language that practicing it over and over really reinforces it and strengthens those muscles, strengthens that ability to go straight to it when you need it. And I'm not perfect, nobody is, but this has helped so much. And if you feel compelled to check it out at all, please do. Um, it's made a huge difference in my life. And um, there's definitely the hippie crowd that's in it. And then there's there are also businessy people who do it. And I'm very type A. I've had OCD about a lot of things. I'm very logistical and professional and scientifically minded and so it's not just for super touchy feely people um, as much as my crying might seem otherwise um, it's made a huge difference in my life I am so grateful for the community and the connections that I've formed
there's even people who I wouldn't be friends with outside of games. Um, like, we just don't dive together in a daily way. Just seeing the beauty in each of these people and really connecting with them, and it means so much to me. And I recommend it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.